Thank you, Stefan. Here's where we begin. A heartbreaking chapter in Toronto's history could come to an end today as we learn the fate of the man convicted in the Young Street van attack. Alec Manassian admitted to planning and carrying out the April 2018 attack that killed 10 people and injured 16. However, Manassian pleaded not guilty, arguing that he is not criminally responsible due to autism spectrum disorder. This verdict will be broadcast on YouTube at 10 o'clock this morning. Stay with City News. We'll continue to follow this story throughout the day. On the COVID-19 front now, starting today, Halton Region will be accepting vaccination appointments for residents 80 years and older. Halton.ca slash COVID vaccines is the website. Residents unable to book online are asked to call 311. The clinics located in each of Halton's four municipalities are reportedly ready to go with vaccinations for this age group expected to continue throughout March and April based on availability of shots. Halton is also working with specialized transit providers and private taxi services to make sure that residents have a free ride to and from vaccine clinics if needed. Well, and while some public health units in the GTA have opened up their own booking system for those 80 and older to get that vaccine, Toronto will not be doing that. In Toronto, it's not actually just public health who will be vaccinating. All of the hospitals will play a role. Um, community health centres will play a role. And so, um, so some of those places may have their own booking systems as well, too. The city says it is waiting until the provincial vaccine portal launches on March 15th. However, some Toronto hospitals are now accepting appointments, Sunnybrook among them. Ontario is considering extending the time between doses in an effort to get more of us our first shot sooner. The idea comes from B.C., but there's still some confusion over the effectiveness of second dose intervals. It will really vary from person to person as to how much immunity that people will get after the first shot because there are suggestions that as people get older they may not have uh, acquire the same degree of immunity as say uh, a much younger person a 25 to 30 year old person. The National Advisory Committee on Immunization currently recommending 21 days between doses of the Pfizer vaccine and 28 days for Moderna and up to 12 weeks for AstraZeneca. Speaking of AstraZeneca, half a million doses of that vaccine are due to arrive today, hopefully helping Canada's COVID-19 rollout turn, take a turn. But there are some questions remaining about who should get them first. The advisory committee says there is not enough evidence to show that that particular vaccine's effectiveness in seniors. Some provinces, including Ontario, are following that advice and plan to only give AstraZeneca to people under 65. In addition to today's shipment, about 445,000 Pfizer doses also coming this week. The Prime Minister will be briefing Canadians on our COVID situation at 11.30 this morning. As always, we're going to stream that one live on our website, citynews.ca. Stateside now, President Joe Biden says that America's vaccination timeline is actually two months ahead of schedule. We're now on track to have enough vaccine supply for every adult in America by the end of May. Let me say that again. When we came into office, the prior administration had contracted for not nearly enough vaccine to cover adults in America. We rectified that. Biden's previous goal was to have enough shots by July. The boost in supply is thanks to, in part, to pharmaceutical giant Merck, joining forces with rival Johnson & Johnson to quickly produce the new single-shot vaccine. And the optimistic news leading to this prediction from Biden. When do I think things will get back to normal? I've been cautioned not to give an answer to that because we don't know for sure. But my hope is... By this time next year, we're going to be back to normal and before that, my hope. But Biden is warning uh, Americans yes, not to I let did. their guard down due to the virus threat at a time when public health officials fear that new variants could be taking hold. According to Johns Hopkins University, more than 78 million Americans have received at least one dose of a COVID-19 vaccine. In the UK, that number, more than 21 million. In Canada, just over 1.9 million doses have been given out. All right, we've got a very busy show ahead here, including the ongoing criminal investigation that has everyone in the province talking. OPP Commissioner Thomas Carrick will be joining us to talk about the province's new initiative to combat the ongoing tow truck turf wars. And coming up next in business, do you have a million dollars? Oh, I don't know, just lying around. 
you're going to need it if you want to move to the GTA. We're going to break down some of those housing prices with Mike Apple up next.